Okay, so today we're gonna be learning about how time is money and how we need to learn how to leverage other people's skill sets, hint, hint, to better your business. Stay tuned. So time is money. And if there's anything that I've learned in my real estate career and my real estate business is that you have to find the right people to leverage to help you build and scale your business. So today I'm here with Molly Wood with Wood Home Photography. With Wood Home Photography. A little bit of backstory on myself, Molly. I used to be a photographer. I actually was an art major and all the things. So when I got into real estate, Felicia's like big wig idea was I can take my own pictures. I can do that. That's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna save money. That's how we're gonna save money. No, people. That's not how you save money. You need to utilize the experts. And I mean, what are some of the reasons why you think that's so key, Molly? Mm. Utilizing professional photography in, let's just say, real estate. My job is literally to make you look good mm -hmm. and make your property look good. Thank you. So if you're trying to do all that and juggle all those balls at the same time, yeah. one of them's going to fall. So if you hand that to me, my job is specifically to make you look great mm -hmm. and your property look great. And you give me back my time. Yeah. Which again, time is money. So I can go into a listing. I can create all of my comps. I can make the relationship with the client. Yeah. I can talk about all the ins and the outs of their specific needs. What I get to do and what I like to do, and I hope you realize that I do, is when I'm in those homes, I'm already showcasing you. Mm. So I use professional photography on all of my listings. I use mm. Molly Wood. Here's some of her you know, photos that she's taken in the past. Right. They ooh, they ah, and that helps me even gain clientele yeah. because I'm using a professional. Right. I, I'm, I mean, that's huge, right? I'm not saying, oh, I'm gonna take the pictures myself, look at my photography. No, yeah. you're supposed to be, I'm supposed to be the professional in my field, the expert in my field, right? Yeah. And so, it definitely makes you stand out when you're looking or when you're talking to a homeowner um, trying to get that listing, you can say, I'm bringing in my photographer, my videographer, my drone operator, all these extra things just make you look better mm -hmm. instead of being the one man show, you have a team of support. It's not just you that's going to be doing it. You have a team to really bring that you know, property attention, and that's where I come in. And how professional is that? And I yeah. say that all the time, and we're on shoots all the time mm -hmm. as a team. You mm -hmm. show up, the drone's in the air. I'm still finalizing a contract, X, Y, Z. We're in, we're out in two hours. I've got the listing contract. I have my photos and everything. We really are a package deal, and they can get back to their Saturday Absolutely. or whatever. I know, Molly, you are my professional photographer in real estate, and you help me leverage and gain back so much of my time which is huge, but I have so many people mm -hmm. that I do that with, whether it's an assistant or a TC. The next couple months, I actually hired a lady just to help me with odds and ends, errands, picking up things, having things made for me. I mean, all kinds of stuff because my time is valuable. The time that I would be wasting, literally wasting on things like that are the moments that I should be building my relationships, my repertoire, getting back to emails, talking with clients, making those personal touches, et cetera, because that's how I gain my business. So what do you do if you do anything? How do you utilize the power of leverage in your business? Oh man, these last couple of months since the market has been so insane. Yeah. I mean, I've just run out of time on things. Yep. So I have had to bring on people and I've got some drone operators that I bring in to help me with those really good drone shots. Mm -hmm. um, I, If I run out of time for, uh, for editing, I've yep. got some editors that I can call and say, hey, I'm gonna need your help. And that's all because that's time that I can build my business. Right as opposed to sitting on my computer or you know, wasting more time on a shoot when right. I can go on to the next one and have somebody come in and finish it off. I me. love your example of the drone operator mm -hmm. because a lot of times you and I are on site together. So we're yep. at a house, so we're at a listing together. I'm the one that's talking with the client, building the relationship, yep. writing the contracts, seeing the homes. You're around me taking the pictures. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, outside, you've got a drone photographer. So yep. I've got the power of leverage utilizing you. You're leveraging the drone photographer, we're all being more efficient Definitely. in our business. We look like a united force mm -hmm. and we're actually providing a better service yeah. to the client. Definitely. In, out, time, you actually get to see your children possibly that night, you know, maybe <laughs> I do too. Yeah. When I try to do it all, when you try to do it all, I mean, you just, you waste that. You, yeah. you, you lose time 
with the people that are, it's important, whether that's relationship building or let's even say family, because that's a value there. That's mm -hmm. valuable, right? Yeah. And that's you touched great. on it too. It is respecting your client's time too. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in somebody's house for four hours trying to get it all done inside, outside, all of that. So to respect your homeowner's time, we get in, we get out, we try to leave as little a footprint as possible mm -hmm. to get you going. Professional versus unprofessional. Definitely. You're, you're, you're setting the bar of being a professional mm -hmm. versus unprofessional. Yep. And I love that. And it starts, so it's, it doesn't really always boil down to the dollar that you're saving. Right. Really, it's, I mean, the long-term gain. Mm -hmm. It's not about, oh, well, I can save if I do this. No, I'm not going to save anything. You're actually going to look unprofessional. You're going to lo lose that referral, right. which it's all about. Yep. referrals in, yeah. in our businesses, right? Yeah. So I love that. So the power of leverage is absolutely huge. You can see just sitting with a professional photographer here, how she's even leveraging, I'm leveraging her. We're all using the power of leverage to <laughs> really enhance our businesses and give that professional looking experience to the client. Yep. The other thing that I think is a huge concept in business, not just necessarily photography, but I'm gonna use photography as another example. Business in general is you don't have to be the expert in everything. You may be an expert. Are you an expert in real estate? I'm well, not. I'm the expert in real estate. Are you the expert in photography? She's the expert in photography. Exactly. So you need to find that partnership and those people that you can leverage your time with to help, again, grow your business. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the expert in professional photography, but I do know, I'm smart enough to realize that the client is expecting professional photos in real estate. Do you have any stats for the industry or anything that you could tell me in regards yeah, to that? Definitely. Most people are looking at their phones when they start looking for properties. You have less than two seconds to grab somebody's attention when they look at listings. Literally, when they pull it up, two seconds, swipe on from there. You have 0.5 seconds to actually pull them in. Wow. So that first photo had better be your best right there. Wow. Yeah. I knew it was fast. People tell me like five seconds all the time. Those were fast numbers, but yeah. I believe it because even when I'm on my thread, which happens to involve a bunch of real estate agents and <laughs> investors, and I'm going past other people's listings, there are definitely ones where I'm like, eh, yeah. mm -hmm. whoa, yeah. so-and-so got a good listing, yeah. which I hope my name's underneath it. But anyways, <laughs> that's crazy. Right. We're so visual though. Mm -hmm. We are such a visual like creature. We were just mm -hmm. talking with a friend the other day where they were saying they were standing behind somebody and she's just scrolling and scrolling. But that's so true. If I don't have professional photography on my listings, mm -hmm. I know that it's going to be as quick as, nope, I don't like that house next. They yep. didn't even make it to the 50 pictures right. more often than not. It's right. the first picture. If yep. it didn't captivate you, they're already on to the next listing. Right. So huge. So leverage your time, leverage the, I guess, the accountability of, of those, those models too. So for me, it would be photography. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and send that over to you. And then you don't have to be the expert in everything. One of the things that I love that you're doing right now that makes me look amazing that I want to bring back to the viewers in terms of being an expert is that if you're not prepared to dedicate your specific time in learning a niche to be the best at it, i.e., let's say again, me trying to be the photographer on my own listings. If I'm not dedicated enough to be that expert, I shouldn't have anything to do with it. I think that's a really cut and dry moment where you need to learn to leverage that piece of your business. Mm -hmm. For example, something that you've been giving me the past year that I wouldn't even know where to start. Like if you told me to do it, I wouldn't even know where to start is digital staging. Sure. Talk to me about digital staging right now in the yeah. industry. It's huge. People are moving so fast. There's so many vacant properties. And if you have a vacant home, there's a buyer that may not be able to um, visualize. visualize what yep. that home really would look like with their things. So when Felicia calls me and says, I need this staged, I go in and I put in virtual you know, furniture and things to really help the buyers look, like we said, two seconds to get their attention. Yeah. That furniture and that placement really helps people visualize what they could do with that property. It's so huge. Obviously, again, I'm a specialist in VA. Being a female veteran here in Las Vegas, I do a lot with the military. Military gets orders and they're gone mm -hmm. out of out of state onto the new yeah. uh ready to move yeah, yeah. ready to, for the next air base etc yeah. and their homes are vacant well as good of a photographer as you can be at the end of the day an a empty vacant home isn't mm -hmm. super captivating yeah. and appealing and it's yeah. not warm and cozy so i'll ask molly to digitally stage a few rooms for me which mm -hmm. i think when people think digital staging they're thinking like maybe old school and ugly and like yeah. floating tables and stuff. Your stuff. Which is still out there. It is still, still out there. That. It is still out there. <laughs> yeah. 
but your stuff is incredible. Oh, thank like you. it is absolutely incredible. Thank you. And again, another point that I get to bring to my listing consultations, which is look at what I can provide you. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that I can buy. Oh, your house is going to be vacant. It's okay. This is what we're going to make it look like. And yep. they're just like, holy, right? And yep. then I get the listing yet again. Yep. So digital staging is one of those, you're the expert. You're taking time to learn all of those little intricacies. And the other thing is time. You get those back to me in 24 hours. Quick. You're taking Quick. the pictures, you're digitally staging, and yeah. I'm capable of telling my client, we're photographing today, I can list tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's big for me. Mm -hmm. I'm photographing today, we can list tomorrow. Sure. She'll have that back to me in 24 hours. Yep. Every single time. Because this market is so fast, you don't have time to wait. Yeah. And I know that as a photographer, you are ready to go. The minute you call me, say, I have a listing, let's go, let's get it done. Yeah. So we do it quick. Yep. Well, thank you for being on, Molly. Thanks I appreciate it. I hope that you learned a little bit something of something. You learned a little bit of something. And if you liked this video, that you make sure that you are subscribing to my channel, dropping a comment, liking, doing all of the things where we are going to continue to talk about everything, business, real estate, investing, entrepreneurship, all of the things, Molly. So and, exciting. And again, <laughs> we got some ladies doing this too, yeah, which right. I like. Yeah. Some ladies. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Tune in. Bye.